Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Mark and Mike Show. This time we are going to talk about the recluse. And as you can see, I'm kickstarting my bike on the side of a hill, kind of a steep, steep uh, trail here, <laughs> which is a sign that I don't have a recluse, because if I had a recluse, the bike wouldn't have died. However, I do have a recluse. I just have recently removed it from the bike, and I'm going to kind of share my views in this video of the recluse, uh, things I like about it, things I don't like about it, uh, for those of you who might think about uh, about getting one in the future sometime. Trying to work out. And if you listen to my motor, you can hear me slip the clutch as I go up this uh, slippery, steep uh, hill with rats and roots in it here. And that's actually the reason that I took the recluse out is I found that I really missed uh, just playing with the clutch. I missed that feel that you get uh, as you kind of modulate the clutch to try to get traction. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just kind of a, it's like uh, touching a woman. I mean, it's, a, it's an intimate connection with the bike and I missed that uh, uh, when I had the recluse. Uh, now I love the recluse. Uh, I bought the recluse shortly after buying this bike. Uh, because I was really worried about having to kick start it on the side of a hill somewhere and uh, those of you who don't know what a recluse is, it's an auto clutch and so you actually don't end up ever killing your bike uh, unless you're going down something really steep and the floats, you know, float moves aren't quite right uh, but it just never dies. I mean, it, it's a pretty neat invention. And the recluse is designed to just start slipping uh, when the motor starts running too slow. So in theory, you just have optimal traction uh, the whole time that you're using the, the recluse. Uh, now, the, the thing that I kind of ran into, though, is sometimes I wasn't really sure if the recluse was slipping or if my rear wheel was spinning. And uh, it kind of bugged me. Uh, although the benefits of the recluse, uh, plus I think it just does a much better job of <laughs> modulating the clutch than I ever could. So I'm sure you get better, better traction with the recluse, uh, but sometimes it felt like I would get better traction without it. So now the real benefit of the recluse, <laughs> or not having the recluse, is that you can bump start it going down a hill. So if you're going down something steep, uh, you just let the clutch out and, and the, you know, the bike will start. With the recluse, uh, if, if you kill it while you're going down something steep, which is, which is the one time you do kill it in the recluse just because the float balls aren't right, uh, you actually have to stop the bike and kickstart it to get it going again. And being able to bump start it uh, is, is really nice. I mean, that's one of the main reasons that I'm happy not to have the recluse in the bike. And another problem with the recluse is you can't park the bike uh, on a steep hill without it rolling backwards. You know, there's no emergency brake on motorcycles. You just leave it in gear. And with the recluse, it's never in gear. Uh, and so if you stop it on a, on a real steep hill, uh, the bike's just going to roll backwards. Now, if, if you got it stopped and the motor's still running because you haven't tipped it over or something, you can kind of modulate the throttle, which will, which will hold the bike. So it kind of works like a rear brake. And this actually works really well on a real steep hill. Uh, but, it, but it's really nice when, when you're having a tough time to be able to just shut the bike down and have it just stay parked and not, not have it roll back. I mean, uh, uh, to me, that's another huge reason to not have the recluse in the bike, uh, which, is, which is one of the reasons that I think I, I have left it out for so long. Although, don't misunderstand me. I really like the recluse, and I'm, I'm really glad that I bought it. Bunch of birds. Huh. Yeah? Can. He won't. He won't leave from in front of me here. <laughs> And once you do the initial install of the recluse, it takes about 15 minutes to put it in or take it out. So it's real easy for me to throw in the recluse or pull it out depending on the conditions of the ride path. Ah, that's bumpy. However, uh, since I pulled the recluse out, I haven't really had a desire to put it back in yet. So that's up. That's slick, huh? So let's recap uh, my view of the pluses and the minuses of the recluse. Uh, the advantage is you don't have to worry about the clutch. I mean, you can just focus on riding and uh, throttle control. 
Uh, I mean, I still ended up using the clutch quite a bit uh, for whiskey throttle <laughs> and other reasons. Uh, but but it is really nice uh, to be able to just uh, just ride and not have to think about the clutch. Uh, I mean, that, that I would say is one of the huge advantages of the Recluse, plus the traction that it gives you. Let's see, you want to go down and do that other one? Yeah, we haven't done that one in a while, have we? Okay. I have a feeling it's going to be super easy. Yeah, you haven't done that without the recluse yet. And now the negatives. I'd say the biggest negative is not being able to bump start it going down a hill. Uh, the second negative would be uh, not being able to park it on the side of a hill. And but the, but for me, I'd say the number one issue was just the, uh, the which which probably wouldn't be an issue for most people. But I just really enjoy using the clutch. I like the modulating the clutch. Uh, this hill is the, one of the hills where, uh, with the recluse, I couldn't tell if the rear wheel was spinning or if the clutch was slipping. And uh, also, without the recluse, I can lug the bike a lot more. The recluse just starts slipping, uh, where I kind of like to be able to lug, lug the bike. Um, and so, uh, you know, those, those are minor, minor negatives. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the recluse, uh, although I have removed it. And so right here in the ride, uh, our video dies. So no more video. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I pulled the recluse out a little over two months ago uh, with the plan of sticking it back in. Haven't yet. Um, but uh, I'm sure I will, you know, from time to time. Uh, but honestly, I much prefer riding without it. Um, but uh, that your your mileage may vary. So it's a great product, though. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, so anyhow, thanks for watching.